One of the cool things at the Detroit Auto Show is what they call automobility. It's this display area with all kinds of startups and other companies that have got cool new, new technology. And I'm talking right now with Swami Kodagiri. He's the CTO of Magna. And Swami, you were telling me just a minute ago that you guys are working on all kinds of sensors and the like that goes into an autonomy suite of technologies, but you're really starting to focus on radar right now. Yeah, I think if you remember, John, we did what we call the Max 4 platform in the streets of Berlin, which was really the integration of all the enabling blocks, which is the sensors, the compute platform, the software, and the algorithms. So obviously each one of it is important to provide reliability, robustness, and redundancy. So Magna is the leader in the vision-based ADAS system part of it, but we do realize that you need to have other sensors and they all play a role. And radar, we believe, is one of the key steps, uh, not just addressing level four and five, but in meeting the needs of level one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. So what we started doing about three years ago was trying to define what this future radar should be, what should it be capable of, and as we found from the definition, there are some key attributes for any radar. Radar as a technology has been there in aeronautics for a long time. So what range, how far do you see? What resolution, how clearly do you see it, right, are some of the challenges. So we started uh, with the foundation of a military-based technology. Uh, so all current uh, radars, automotive radars, are frequency-modulated systems. We went to a phase-modulated system. Uh, we went to a range of 300 plus meters. It can do a lot more, but it really becomes relevant to talk about range with resolution uh, in common man's terms, right? Like. I see something, but can I really tell what it is, right? So you see a stop sign and you see a pedestrian. Can I separate them, right? That is what we try to address. And with this radar, we got a range of 300 plus meters. Uh, and for the technical people who are really interested, uh, less than one degree resolution in both horizontal and vertical direction. It's a huge deal. What it does is it allows us to start differentiating uh, objects, and so you can actually classify them. So in the past, for example, you have an overpass and a car parked under it, you would see it as one blob of data. Now because of the high resolution, you can tell they're two different things, right? Radars typically can't really do a good job in contrast. Car is a bright object, beautiful reflectivity, so you can find it. But if a driver comes from there or a pedestrian comes from beside it, it doesn't show very well. And as you can tell, that's not a good thing to have mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, in, in the traffic scenario. Okay, for somebody like me who knows nothing about radar, the science of it, what's the difference or what's the advantage of going from frequency modulation to phase modulation? Uh, in, in simple terms, this is what happened to the cell phone industry when they went from analog to CDMA. So you're taking something that was analog and we went completely digital, right? We call it a 4D imaging radar. The four dimension comes from looking at an object in X, Y, and Z, and then also measuring velocity. That's four. The hundreds of virtual uh, receivers that are present in this digital architecture gives us the chance to uh, get a much higher density of uh, points, which can define objects more clearly, and therefore you can tell what it is, mm -hmm. right? In simple terms, that's what we did. Yeah. So I got to imagine you wanted to do take a new approach because there's plenty of radar suppliers out yeah. there right now. So you had to bring something new to the party, as they say, exactly. if you were going to have a chance of making any difference. That's exactly it. And, and I think we even took an approach of trying to get the best brains uh, together from semiconductor, from signal processing, from antenna. And that's how we created a startup. Uh, and we took part in it. And the startup is still in the stealth mode. You'll see it in the next two years. Next two years. Okay. Oh, sorry, next two months. Oh, two months. Yeah, sorry. I was going to say, because you started this two three months. years ago. Yep. So it's right around the corner. Right around the corner. Very interesting. Swami, again, thanks so much for your time. Very interesting. Thanks, Sean. Yeah. As always, my pleasure. Yeah.